Hello guys, XHD here, coming at you with a tutorial on After Effects 3D motion tracking and Uju and Cinema 4D. And that was a really bad accent, but whatever. So, I'm uh, gonna be going over the example when I had the little screens and stuff pop up. I should have this open. Have it open if you want to see it, but. Uh, this will be part one of the 3D motion tracking because uh, it's going to take a while. First one's just tracking, next one I'll do compositing and stuff. But anyway, so uh, you're going to have a cinematic, right, going around. And uh, normally they'll say, hey, uh, you got to, you know, add to render queue and make it a JPEG sequence and stuff. And uh, you, yeah, you can do that. But if you look inside of Buju, and by the way, Buju's really dang easy to get. So, uh, yeah. If you go into Buju and you go to import, you you can import, look at all these, AVIs, MOVs, and there's your TIFF files, uh, PNG files, sequence JPEGs. So, I'm just gonna go ahead, and uh, since this one's already MOV, I'm just gonna import that. Like, I don't need to import Let's see, 60 frames per second, 15 seconds, times 60, what is that, 900? My math is right, yeah, 900 pictures or something. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'll just keep one file. That will be easier. So I'll just go ahead and uh, look for that cinematic footage, cinematic, rotating, and uh, we'll click Apply. And then we also need to apply a frame rate, so it was 59.94 up there. Okay, so uh, when people do this for uh, Cinema 4D, they always say like, oh, you have to change it to 30 or something, I don't even know. But I'm going to keep it, I'm going to do it my way, okay? After Effects only. And uh, the thing I like about this is uh, when you do it in After Effects, you can change anything you want at any time on like Cinema 4D where you pretty much have to render it. And then if you want to change something, you got to do it all over again. So, unless you save the file, but I mean, you got to render. But this way, you can do it pretty much any time you want. So, we imported the clip, so that's cool. And next thing we need to do is kind of mask out uh, the guy, because uh, what this is tracking is, it's assuming that everything is static. This is a static scene, and the only thing that's moving is the camera. So, if he... If it sees the guy's arm moving there, and especially right here, you know, it's going to take that into consideration, and we'll get a, a little shaky track. So what we're going to do is go to the beginning, and add poly mask, and just kind of draw around the guy. Doop, doop, doop. Boom! Okay. And we'll move forward here, and it automatically uh, makes keyframes when you adjust the mask so just kind of move forward every other second seeing this cover that up Let's see so uh, go here and uh, just try to cover up as much as the guy but still kinda uh, don't cover up more than you need you know because you still want a lot of uh, stuff to track you know don't want to cover up like the entire background so just, I mean, it doesn't have to be too perfect, but just kind of, you know, corrupt the guy, adjusting it every other full or half second or something, just until he moves. So, uh, yeah, how's it going, guys? 3D motion tracking, are you guys excited? This is pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, a little different. I haven't seen any, uh any uh, tutorials on 3D motion tracking only inside of After Effects so pretty excited about this hope this video becomes pretty popular no um, extend that over there cover that guy's gun moving forward here just that little bit and yeah. just kinda move that in want to save a lot of room for tracking still so not too bad let's check 
I mean, if it goes out just a little bit, that's fine, but you still want it to be, uh, you know, a pretty, pretty solid uh, mask. And I think that should be fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now that that's done, pretty good. So now that he's pretty much masked out, it will not take into consideration anything that it will, like, yeah, it won't track anything in that area. So, what we do now is just click track feature, features, features, what the hell am I talking about? And just click start. And, uh, this will take a while, so, uh, looks like this one's going to take, uh, ten minutes or so, well, nine minutes, eight minutes. So, I'm just going to let it go, fast forward it, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, it tracks the features and stuff and points and things like that, and did not have this guy affect anything at all. And then the only thing we do now is just go to Camera Solve, and uh, you can click Optimize cat, uh, Camera Path smooth Smoothness, but the thing about that is, if your camera is bumpy like at all, like it's uh, little, even like a little bit jerky at, like at all, um, It'll smooth that out a little bit and won't really match your scene like exactly, if you know what I mean. Like it analyzes it smooth, but the real footage is not perfectly smooth. So you can click that if you want, if like uh, your camera is a, a pretty simple path, but mine uh I'm just gonna leave it as uh regular and uh click start. And this will take a while again, so uh I will see you in a few minutes or something. Like that. So once this starts, and uh, I'll just go to like one percent. Okay. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay. Hey guys. Okay, we're back, and um, now we got um, these blue and yellow points that represents, you know, fixed points that the camera has solved. So uh, pretty cool stuff. But now what we need to do is uh, kind of. Like show the uh, the program, you know what's left and right, up and down, so that it can uh, export it and the orientation is correct and all that stuff. So we go to scene geometry, and we just need to uh, add coordinate from hint, and let's change this type to uh, x axis. So we need to find two points, um, at least two points really, but <coughs> two points that would represent the x axis. So try to find two points. Um, I'm going to try to look on this bar because I know that's perfectly left and right. So I think two points. Um, I'm going to say this point right here. We select it and it turns green. And on a Mac, you hold the command. So PC, that would be control. And then click on the other point. So we have two points that are green now. And we will collect, uh, connect to select it. Boom. Okay. Now uh, we need another axis. So we're going to do the Y axis since... We don't have any really depth points. We can't really do the Z axis because Z is front and back. So I'm going to just kind of look at this pole right here. And uh, I'm going to add coordinate from hint. Change this to Y axis. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these points and hold command. Select one of those points and connect to selected. So now we got the Y axis right there. So uh, one more thing we can always do is uh, origin. Oops, don't change that y-axis. Okay, now add a new one and then change it to origin. And I'm just going to pick one that's kind of right below them, right, right there. And connect. And uh, that's about it. We, that's pretty much what we can do for now. So update coordinate frame. And I'll uh, let it kind of update. And I'll uh, just do it twice just to make sure. <coughs> that's what all the cool people say. And uh, if we look in 3D, 3D button, and uh, hold shift, and you can kind of just rotate around, you can kind of see here's that front wall, here's the fence, and uh, our camera is moving around from, you know, right to left, and that's pretty much what we want. So that's a pretty good track. So, uh, all right. So uh, when we export, make sure you're... Um, where is it? If you go to edit camera, I think. No, not edit camera. 
setup, edit sequence, make sure the frame rate is uh, selected, 59.94, make sure all that is uh, correct. Sometimes it goes back down to 25, but that's all good, and we'll export. Now I'll browse, and I'll just export it to the desktop, <coughs> and I'll call this um, Rotating Camera Solve, and uh, change the file type to After Effects Maya, so MA, so click Save, and um, if we want to export, we need if we don't uh, click anything and uncheck this, well, it would be like thousands of null objects. So we're going to check the uh, export flag tracks only. And uh, if you want to export one, uh, darn it. All right, I'll show you how to export one. So let's, uh, I'll pick this one right here, select it, right click, and flag for export. Boom. And then we'll go back to uh, export camera solve. Again, I'll just redo this. Um, <coughs> Rotating camera solve and After Effects Maya and say flag export things only. Uh, scale the scene. This is pretty important. This is gonna be. Uh, it's up to you. But I I was looking around and I thought a thousand was pretty good because uh, otherwise whatever you make will be really huge. This will essentially scale it down. But whatever. And then uh, that's about it. And hit save. And that's how you uh, motion track. So next tutorial, I'll teach you how to make the little screens pop up and import into After Effects and all that good stuff. So if I get a bunch of likes on this and I get some good feedback, then I'll upload it. So it's up to you guys. Let's make it 100 likes, okay? Okay? Boom! All right, see ya.